Hey everybody, today we're going to be going over using the paint bucket tool in Photoshop CS6. Now, most of you may know how to use the paint bucket tool. It's been around for almost as long as Photoshop has been around. So, um, if you don't know how to use the paint bucket tool, this is a good uh, tutorial to start at. And otherwise, um, just keep watching and see what's going to uh, go down in this tutorial. Yeah. So, the paint bucket's primary function is to uh, fill an area with the active foreground color. So the foreground color is going to be over here. Um, right now it's blue. So that's your foreground color. And the paint bucket tool is over here on in your tool section. And if anything's covering it up, it will be the gradient tool It would be covering it up. And you can see that the hotkey is G. So go ahead and select your paint bucket tool. And you can see that we have some uh, different options going on around here. We can um, set it to use the foreground color here, or we can set it to use a pattern. So let me go to foreground first and just click, and you guys, oh, uh, I am on the wrong layer. Let me click on this one. So somehow my opacity got turned down by accident. But if I click on the layer, um, I can change that solid color there to a foreground color. And if I'm on a layer, um, that's not on this one if I click on it then we're gonna get some background that's been filled in with the paint bucket and as you can see the entire canvas has been filled with the paint bucket now it's gonna stay in like an area that has been closed off by other uh, pixels so that way when you use something in a paint bucket it's gonna stay within the lines and you can use that to your advantage by clicking on the middle or something like that, clicking in somewhere to see if all your lines are connected, all your pixels are filled. So uh, let's move on. The next thing that I wanted to show you was the pattern. So I'll get back on my uh, paint bucket tool, go to pattern, and then we can uh, select from some patterns. You can load any patterns that you have, um, uh, have saved on your computer or anything like that. So I'll just stay with the bubble pattern here. And if I add that to, I have my background layer clicked, you can see that a pattern is added instead of just a solid color. We've got, let me change this back to foreground. We've got our blending modes here. Now, if you don't understand blending modes yet, just go ahead and check out the blending mode tutorial. It's a three or four parter there, and it goes really in depth about each uh, blending mode. We've got our opacity, so that means when you lay down your color, um, let me change this back to white real quick. If I lower my opacity, the color is going to be more opaque when you lay it down. As you can see there, it's not that full blue, but it's a more opaque color of that blue. Excuse me, more transparent color of the blue because I lowered the opac opacity. Um, the next thing that we got here is tolerance. Now what tolerance is, is it's a value that influences the range that the paint bucket uses to fill a given area. So if you're trying to fill in like a sky or something that has a, a few different colors in it, but they're like close together, like a bunch of different blues in the sky. So if you lower the tolerance, it'll grab more of those blues or, and if you increase it, it'll take less. So that's uh, what the tolerance does. The couple buttons over here, anti-alias will give you nice, crisp, uh, smooth lines instead of jaggedy edges. Um, if we have contiguous selected, it'll select all of the colors that are um, within that color range. So I have this orange color here. If I go have my uh, contiguous unchecked and click, oh, wrong, wrong layer, my bad. Everything that was uh, around orange, according to the tolerance here, everything that was close enough to orange got changed to blue. So if I go back, and I put my tolerance up to down to like 30. Oop, I keep on doing that by accident. And I click on this. You can see that since I lowered the tolerance, it didn't accept as many colors and the oranges came out. And uh, that's what happens when you have contiguous unchecked. If I had contiguous checked and then I clicked on this orange here, it's only gonna do this orange area because it's closed off. Contiguous just takes all the colors. So there's your unchecks and checks for that. The next one we got here is all, all layers. 
and you take that if you're going to select that checkbox it's going to fill the color range information from all of the images layers so basically just um, takes information and fills in all every layer if you have that checked that's in here in your uh, layers panel so that's it for the paint bucket tool very uh, rudimentary um, introduction to the paint bucket tool and at some point we'll go over how to use the paint bucket tool in more advanced ways to make some cool looking projects so thanks a lot for watching everybody you guys have a good one